My dear brothers and sisters in the Diocese of Borongan, in the name of the Archdiocese of Manila, I would like to extend to you warm, warm greetings. It's very warm here in Manila. But for a special purpose, I would like to greet you uh, on the occasion of the first anniversary of the Voice of the Word Network of the Diocese of Borongan. In a special way, I would like to extend my greetings, also fraternal greetings, to uh, Bishop uh, Crispin. Uh, bye, kumusta ka na ba dyan sa Borongan? And it gives us so much hope that we have this uh, network that integrates the AM radio, the online media, cable TV, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. It's really a network, but for one purpose, to give voice to the Word of God. And we congratulate the Diocese of Borongan for such a network. For us, it is an act of communion. You know, there is always a danger that people who work for the same cause end up working separately. I work for my group. I work for my outfit. And in the meantime, the voice becomes weaker and the impact becomes also less. But with networking, or using the church language, communion for a common mission, we hope our voice will come across clearer, unified, and the impact would be greater. This is the grace that we are asking the Lord to shower upon you. And this is also an appeal to you. The world of social media is very, very potent. But it is also a world, a world that needs to be evangelized. Social media does not only give us means to communicate the Word of God. The social media is a world in itself. It has its own culture. It has its own language that needs to be evangelized. The bearer of the Word must receive the Word of God. Before the network could be a voice of the word, that word must be heard in the world of the network. So this is our prayer. This is also our wish for you. At, uh, congratulations, uh, Bishop Bai, Monsignor Quitorio, and all of your collaborators. May God give you all the blessings that you need. Congratulations.